Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Capital City Live. Yes, we are 100% live, coming to you from our studios right here in the heartland of the United States, Lincoln, Nebraska. I am your host, announcer, Michael Letcher, producer extraordinaire and owner of Capital City Studios, and I am here to tell you we have a fantastic show for you tonight. On our stage, we have the one, the only, the acoustic wonder, Mr. Michael Rye in the house tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, our host is here, Mr. Kent Maslowski, with the comic musing, sure to split that belly in two. Now, as a reminder, we want you, we want to showcase your talent on our stage. Do you have a special skill? Do you perform in the arts industry at all? Reach out to us, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or on our old-fashioned website at CapitalCity.Live. Now, join me in welcoming to our stage tonight, Mr. Kent Maslowski. Thank you so much for coming out, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, one more time, give it up for Michael Letcher back there on the sound and light board. Absolutely. Guys, and again, thanks for clicking that QR code below there and sending us Dogecoins. Guys, uh, in addition to hosting this show, I've also, I've done a lot of different jobs. I've bartended for a couple weeks. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, one day, a guy came in, I said, hey, what do you want? And he said, I'm just waiting for my friend, I'll, I'll have a water. And I was like, all right. So I went to get him his water. And he was like, what are you watching? It was like extreme couponing, because that's what the previous bartender had been watching. I was like, ah, oh, that's, that's not mine. I, you know, I, I flipped it to something else. And he's like, yeah, what's this, uh, this bucket behind me collecting water? I'm like, well, the roof leaks. So we're, that's, what the, that's what the bucket's for. And he's like, yeah, this place is a shithole. And I was like, well, enjoy the free water in the shithole. <laughs> yeah. And then I just kind of walked into the kitchen, you know, got a couple feet away, and I was like, oh, I'm going back to jail tonight. <laughs> I came back out, and I, I don't know, I guess I had to meet their friends somewhere else. Guys, tonight is sponsored by flatwaterhighspeed.com, where you find Flatwater Communications if you need any kind of internet within the Lincoln, Nebraska area. Flatwaterhighspeed.com is making this happen. And now we're going to get our show started with our musical guest. Give it up for Michael Rye. Good evening. Um, as they mentioned several times, I'm Michael Rye. They gave me quite a uh, shout out, so I got a lot to live up to. Um, I am here in support of a new album that I have out. It's called If These Hands Could Talk. It is mostly instrumental, uh, except for one, one special track that has some vocals on it. So this is one of the uh, tracks off that. It's a uh, fingerstyle arrangement of a Beatles tune that uh, normally has strings and vocals and everything, and I'm going to do all that at once. So it's just, just me up here and a guitar.
Thank you. This next one's a uh, another guitar classic that usually has a whole band and horn section and rhythm section, and I'm going to try and do all that once a, again all by myself. So this is um, by Carlos Santana. I think you'll recognize it. Mike, what is your secret? Um, this magic box up here. No, it's just a lot of practice. Man, 
Man, well, you sound wonderful. We can find your music right at michaelrymusic.com. Is that yep. right? michaelrymusic.com or Michael Rye Music on Facebook. The album's available on Spotify, Amazon, or you can come see me live and actually get a physical copy. Well, that is wonderful, Mike. Uh, right now, we want to take this time to remind you that that little QR code right down there at the bottom, that's for donations. If you want to keep this show going, you want to keep this action going, we want your Dogecoins. Donate to us with that cryptocurrency of your choice or, or uh, good old-fashioned cash right at Capital City Live on our Venmo. Right now, we're going to cut over to Kent Meslowski with a special, special surprise interview this evening. Please give it up for our host, Mr. Kent Meslowski. Absolutely never guess who I have with me. It is, in fact, Michael Letcher, producer extraordinaire. Hey! <laughs> here at Capital City Live. You know, this is a rare opportunity. You never get to see me on camera. That's right. You There's never get to see that. you perfectly lit, <laughs> you know, behind the scenes as though we planned to see you on camera. It never happens. It's totally spontaneous, <laughs> and we want you to enjoy it. Now, Michael, we've got a couple productions coming up here at Capital City Studios. Absolutely. We have a, a fantastic next couple of months. We have on stage, not this upcoming weekend, but the weekend after, Transportation, an original show written by Matthew Kisher, who we are very, very happy to have on our stage with that production. Uh, we also have another production written by Jack Faria uh, called Lost in the Spec, which is going to be airing in July. Uh, tickets for both of those are going to be going on sale very, very soon. I'm hoping to have that page up by Wednesday or Thursday so that you can purchase your tickets and you can come watch the show live in our theater, which is a great, fantastic thing as they loosen up the Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And you can see that at CapitalCity.Live as well, correct? Absolutely. Uh, our social medias are going to have those shows posted on it after we perform it here in the studio. So if you want to come see it when we actually do the show, you got to buy a ticket. Otherwise, after the show, you know, you can wait and you can watch it just like you're watching this program right now on our Facebook and YouTube channels. So. Absolutely. All right. Now, sitting back here at the control board, is there anything you notice that you want to pass on to either performers that bothers you or just to the audience? You want to peel back the curtain a little bit? Well, you know, I, I, I kind of feel like Doc Octopus a little bit back here. Sometimes I feel like I have eight arms running all of this stuff by myself. <laughs> Uh, which reminds me, I am looking for an intern. If you uh, are out there and you're watching and you know somebody that might do good here in this tech booth, please send them to come help me because I can definitely use the help back here. It's a sweet tech booth, but it's really hard for one person. It's a lot of buttons, guys. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Guys, that is Michael Letcher. That is our producer, <laughs> owner of Capital City Theater. Make sure to come see these shows live. Absolutely. Come see them live. If you can't possibly see them live, if, I don't know, like train tickets are too much or something, then you can see it at CapitalCity.Live as well. Absolutely. All right. We're going to bring up our musical guest tonight one more time for Michael Rye. Thank you. A little background on this song. Uh, it's a uh, children's classic that I was uh, practicing late one night because that's... That's how you get good, you practice. <laughs> I've been playing most of my life and practicing pretty regularly. So uh, I was playing late one night, my daughter came out and she said, Dad, that sounds like a song I know. And uh, it sort of turned into this. So this is a, uh, my version of a children's classic I think everybody will recognize. So we'll, I won't tell you the name of it because it'll be pretty obvious.
Thank you very much. That was Puff the Magic Game. I'm going to switch instruments to this interesting looking guitar over here that's uh, got a, quite a backstory to it. The, uh, the studio that I teach at in Seward. Uh, it's a uh, marble music studios, and uh, it shares space with the uh, Red Path Art Gallery, and there's a guy there who builds cigar box guitars, and me being a dog lover, this one jumped out at me. It's actually built out of a, an old barn door that was a, a family barn that was torn down in a dog bowl called Shower Drains, and it's uh, just a swampy little instrument that I thought, you know what, uh, I think I really need that being a dog lover and uh, I played it and kind of fell in love with it so it uh, came home with me and it is actually, I do play one track on the album on this song, it's the bonus track, uh, it's written from the perspective of my dog so uh, I see it fitting to do a, a song about a dog here so we're going to do a little song about a dog on this uh, dog bull guitar. <laughs>
moving in. Guys, one more time for Michael Rye. Michael, how long have you been performing? Uh, since I was about six years old, maybe. So 18 or so years. Yeah, about 20 years. Yeah, about 20 like years, that. absolutely. Give, give or take. Right. 20. <laughs> and then this looks like a special guitar. Yeah, this is, uh, as I'm saying, it's literally that? made out of uh, two shower drains, an upside down dog bowl, and uh, some siding from a barn. Absolutely, and, and it uh, sounds spectacular. It's got three strings, so it's a little different than I'm used to. But, you know, oh, just take note, from <laughs> center. Anyway, <laughs> all right, now, who are uh, your inspirations? Um, the, the kind of, I guess my main inspiration was uh, the first time I heard Michael Hedges play the harp guitar with all the layers of stuff, really kind of inspired me. Uh, I studied classical in college, so Segovia and all the, the great fingerstyle players, Chet Atkins. Uh, but I also, on electric, I play jazz, so Al Daniola, uh, even some of your standard Eddie Van Halen, um, some of your metal guys, Ingve Malmsteen. I mean, just if they're good, I listen to them and try and steal ideas from them and, and incorporate them into my playing. And uh, I play with several different bands and country bands, so if any given weekend you can see me playing. My seven-string electric, three-string dog bowl, I just kind of mix it up and play, <laughs> play a little everything. So. Well, you know, they say that uh, amateurs borrow, but professionals steal. Yes, that's... That's right. <laughs> now, all right, let's do a hard question for you real quick. What's your favorite song? Any genre. My favorite song. Um, my favorite song actually is probably uh, is by a guy named Doug Smith, and it's called Renewal. And it's a fingerstyle solo piece that just blows me away every time I hear it. And uh, Guitar piece? Yeah, it's a yeah, solo it's guitar piece by a guy named Doug Smith, who I've actually, uh, I play every year. I go down to Walnut Valley uh, Acoustic Music Festival, and it's a big contest. And I've lost to Doug a couple times, so yeah. uh, he's uh, he's an inspiration, and he played that song once, and I just kind of went like. you got to play the bowl. Yeah, if yeah, I take the bring the bowl, there, maybe you. I'll have a, a better chance. That's but, right. Uh, yeah, Absolutely. so check out Renewal by Doug Smith, and it's just, it just blows me away every time I hear it. And uh, one person shouldn't be able to do all those parts. So <laughs> but he can. Just, yeah, he can. All right. So. And you've got one more song for us tonight. What is that called? Uh, it's called All I Can Do. Um, it's got some funky chords and just kind of a kind of a groovy little sing along. Anything you want to say about it, or um, you just want to? No, it's just it's kind of. Just the lyrics kind of describe, right. you know, it's just thoughts going through your head. Well, let's just get it going. All right. Guys, one more time for Michael Ray. <laughs> Michael Ray.
fever pitch And you knew it was a matter of time Until that day which found you last in line Well, it's not here that you belong So it's back in such a head over heels Someone dropped a bomb right under your Michael, what's Dogecoin doing right now? It's been a bloodbath since we've <laughs> last been on. Literally, I'm pretty sure we were up into the 70s last time we were recording, and now we're <laughs> like barely holding on to 30. So, Well, you know, I'm on the screen now, so it could go lower than that. But all that means is you can send us more Dogecoins at the QR code below for less money, which, come on, that's such a deal. Hashtag such a deal. That's right. Not that that's investment uh, advice of any sort. All right. Michael, what did you think being interviewed? Uh, I'm usually behind the scenes, you know. <laughs> we just kind of spontaneated the moment. We wanted to plug those shows. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you check out the two upcoming shows live on our stage. So that's what I wanted to get in there tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. And now what I want to go ahead and do is plug our sponsor, which is Flatwater Communications, which you can find <laughs> at flatwaterhighspeed.com if you need internet in the Lincoln, Nebraska area. Go ahead and hit them up. Michael, anything left to say? Man, Michael is amazing up there. What, what, what a set of fingers on that, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> we definitely enjoyed having you here on our stage. And reminder, if you want to be on our stage, just like Michael is right now and Kent, uh, make sure to hit us up on all major social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or on our website at Flatwater. No, that's our sponsor, at CapitalCity.Live. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. Let's have another round of applause for Michael Rye, ladies and gentlemen. He is fantastic. MichaelRyeMusic.com. And we're going to go ahead and call this tonight. Any more thoughts before we wrap up, Kent? Yeah, one more round of applause for that guitar. Yes, the it's the most original the guitar yeah. I've ever seen. That thing is epic. All right, we're going to call things tonight. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We're going to go ahead and call it an evening. You stay safe out there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.